from the DNC lawsuit against the Trump campaign. It says that the Russians reached out to various Trump associates anxious to provide incriminating information about Hillary Clinton and, quote, rather than report these repeated messages that Russia intended to interfere with U.S. elections, the Trump campaign and its agents gleefully welcomed Russia's help. Joining me now to talk about it, Mark Lauder, the former special assistant to President Trump, and Julian Epstein, former chief counsel to the House Judiciary Committee for Democrats. Good to see both of you tonight, gentlemen. Thanks for having us. Good evening. Okay, so let's talk about this. Um, Jackie Spire, Congresswoman, uh, actually on CNN said she does not actually think this is a great idea. Here's her reaction to the lawsuit. I actually think this uh, lawsuit is ill-conceived, and I'm not very supportive of it. Uh, I think we have a very serious criminal activity underway in this country uh, by the Russians and possibly by those within the Trump campaign. And to make this political is actually the wrong thing to be doing. I mean, the uh, complaint itself, uh, the very first sentence of it says, no one is above the law. It sounds very dramatic, very political, Julian. It does. So what's your reaction? You are you worried? Right? That, yeah, I mean, do, you know, folks like it sounds like even Democrats are worried this is going to be seen as just a political partisan attack rather than letting the serious Russia investigations play out in the meantime. Well, I have mixed views on it. I think as a legal strategy, it's a good strategy. There's a reason that Michael Cohen dismissed the lawsuit against BuzzFeed uh, the other day. It's because he doesn't want discovery. And this lawsuit will allow the Democratic Party and the attorneys to go in and do wide discovery. Uh, we know there were lots of crimes that were committed, cyber crimes that were committed. We know there were connections. There are connections between the Russians and uh, the Trump campaign. It doesn't mean there was collusion, uh, but we know there are connections. And this is going to open the door for a lot of discovery, not just on what happened in the 2016 election, but before that, because it's written broad enough to allow the uh, case to have discovery with Trump's ties going back with Russia for decades. So as a legal strategy, I think it's good. As a political strategy, I'm not so sure sure about it because right now you have essentially five points where this investigation is being led all by Republicans. Mueller is a Republican. Rosenstein is a Republican. The U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District of New York is led by Republicans. The FBI is led by a Republican. Uh, the Senate Intelligence Committee is chaired right, by a let's... Republican. These are all people who are participating actively in this criminal investigation. And it, this lawsuit gives Republicans an opportunity to say this is nothing but politics, which is false. Okay. Well, let's let's bring in Mark here. I want to say um, WikiLeaks is one of the defendants in this case is tweeting out tonight saying Democrats are suing WikiLeaks and Julian Assange for revealing how the DNC rigged the Democratic primaries. Help us counter sue. We've never lost a publishing case and discovery is going to be amazing fun. The Republicans, uh, excuse me, the Trump campaign also answering this issue about they can't wait. They think that it's going to get thrown out. But if it does proceed, there is this issue of discovery. Here's what they say they're looking forward to finding out. How the DNC contributed to the dirty dossier. Why the FBI never got the DNC servers. The DNC conspiracy to nominate Hillary Clinton. DNC collusion with news media. DNC emails, personnel decisions, budgets, opposition research, and more. Uh, Mark, it sounds like they're opening themselves up to a lot if this gets to the discovery phase. Absolutely. And I mean, let's let's be honest, this is a desperate stunt. And even CNN has called it that. The Washington Post called it flimsy. This is nothing more than just a stunt to keep alive the, the Russia investigation in the minds of their of their resistance voters. Uh, but they also have to look at what's this going to cost them. I mean, this is a party that's bankrupt of leadership, bankrupt of ideas. They're financially bankrupt and paying a bunch of New York uh, attorney fees is just going to continue to drag them down into a rabbit hole and discovery goes both ways. Well, uh, Julian, well, what do you... I would, let me, can I just take issue sure. with that? I, I'm not sure it's desperate. I think the actually the investigation that's being led by Mueller is a criminal investigation. It's accelerating, and it looks like it's going into things like obstruction of justice. So I'm not sure how somebody can say it's desperate. I don't think the investigation is petering out. The American people, by a factor of two to one, think that Mueller's investigation is very important and ought to go forward. And I, there's, there's a strong underlying legal basis. We know there were crimes that were committed. We know that when Donald Trump Jr. and Paul Manafort and Jared Kushner were offered a meeting from who, with who they believed were emissaries of the Russian government carrying dirt on Hillary Clinton. They willingly took that meeting. Well, so Julian, to say you know that they characterize, they characterize that meeting very a, differently, a, a, and, a, a, and their accounting and of it. And that is constantly repeated is just false. I mean, we and, know and Democrats that paid Trump Jr., we know Manafort, and we know Kushner 
all wanted to meet with Russian representatives to get dirt on Hillary Clinton. So the idea well, there was no they're collusion. All named, they're all named in this lawsuit. And they, false. Will and they will have to answer that. Uh, but quick final word to you, Mark, uh, as they have denied much of what Julian just outlined. Well, I mean, let's just remember that even, you know, even the propaganda arm of the Democratic National Committee and the liberal media are all saying this is a stunt. They see right through it. And, and so I, I'm very confident in this. And let's also not forget that just yesterday we heard reporting that the special counsel and the prosecutors in New York have informed the president he's not a subject of these investigations. So it's been proven over and over again after 14 months, thousands of, of documents, hundreds of hours of interviews. There is no collusion. There hasn't been any collusion. And the fact is the Russians awesome, and the sir. Trump campaign did not keep right. Hillary Clinton from going to Wisconsin. We're going to have to leave it there. And we all uh, everyone on both sides of the aisle and everywhere in between await that Mueller uh, investigation and the final analysis. Um, Mark and Julian, thank you both very much.